They were supposed to spend six months on the International Space Station, but unexpected events intervened, doubling the length of their mission. Today, NASA's Frank Rubio and Roscosmos cosmonaut Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin begin their journey home to wrap up the longest space flight in history by an American and the third longest space flight ever. Welcome to Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where flight controllers are working uh, in concert with their Russian counterparts across the ocean at the Russian Mission Control Center as we prepare for the deorbit burn just 23 minutes from now of the Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft that will begin the final leg of a 371-day, 157-million-mile mission for Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin. We're standing by uh, for more word on uh, all of the developments uh, that uh, will lead up to the deorbit burn in less than 23 minutes. It will be a 4-minute, 39-second burn, a retrograde maneuver, a braking maneuver, to slow the Soyuz down by 128 uh, meters per second, allowing it to drop out of orbit with its sights set on a remote uh, landing site in south-central Kazakhstan, just about 90 miles southeast of the town of Jezkazgan, Kazakhstan. You're looking at a balcony view from a balcony camera of the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow, where Russian flight controllers have been talking to the uh, three crew members aboard the Soyuz spacecraft. Uh, the, we'll talk about undocking and all of the uh, developments that have led up to uh, this point in time and the return of these three crew members that you see in this picture. Sergei Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander in the center seat of the descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft. To his left and on the right of this picture is cosmonaut Dmitry Patelin, and on the left, NASA's Frank Rubio, who is the all-time record holder for a, the single longest space flight by an American astronaut. At the time of landing that is coming up at 6.17 a.m. Central Time, 7.17 a.m. Eastern Time, this trio will have accrued 371 days in space, completing 5,936 orbits of the Earth, and as we mentioned, a mission spanning 157.4 million miles, roughly the equivalent of 328 round trips to the moon and back. Sergei Prokopiev, and this is second flight into space, will have accumulated 568 days in space, putting him 12th on the all-time list for most days in space by a human. Patelin and Rubio, of course, wrapping up their first mission in space and again aboard the International Space Station.